Good morning children. Today we are going to start a new lesson. Summer with Granny. So before starting, there is an activity here. We can just look at that. Match the activities with the places. So on one side, the words are boating, nature walk and skiing. And the other side, forest, snowy mountains, river. So we go for boating in forest or snowy mountains or river. Of course it is the river. And the second one, nature walk. Where do we go to see the nature? In the forest. Good. And skiing, we do in snowy mountains. You can see people skiing in the snows. In some pictures, you can see with two sticks in their hand, they do skiing. Hmm? Okay, now we can move on to the lesson. It is summer and the holidays are here. We all know that we have summer vacation. The month of March and March last April, May. Okay, so here too, this girl in the lesson. It is summer vacation for her. So it is summer and the holidays are here. What do I do? Should I read a book or help mommy to cook? Or should I watch butterflies? I think and think and think. So this girl is thinking what to do. When it is a holiday, you'll think of doing something other than your studies. And when it is a summer vacation, your studies are over. After the result, you are moving to the next standard. So, you will stop your studies and think of doing something other than your studies. Maybe you like reading. Some of you like reading. Some of you play. Some of you like uh, uh, doing something like stitching, uh, doing craft work, all that. So this girl is thinking, what do I do? Should I read a book or help mommy to cook? Some people, some children, what they do? They help their mommy. They, some are interested in cooking. So they help their mommy in the kitchen. So this girl too is thinking of helping her mommy in the kitchen. Or should I watch butterflies? So if there is a beautiful garden in front of our house, we sit and watch different types of butterflies coming to suck the nectar okay so i think and think and think so this girl is thinking what to do at that time mummy calls out radha come here cute so the name of the girl is radha so mummy is calling out radha come here quick pack your bags we are going to visit granny for a week so if you are thinking of doing something and something ask you, somebody ask you to Pack your bags. How do you feel? You will be very happy that you are going somewhere. So Radha is also very happy. She is thinking what a good news mother is telling. Huh? Come here quick. Pack your bags. We are going to visit granny. So she is going to visit her granny who is staying far. So Radha is very happy now. Oh, I am so happy. I can't wait to see my granny and ride Chinar, her brown pony. She lives in the hills, you see. I pack my clothes, sweaters, books and toys neatly. I make a painting for granny. So, now Radha is very excited. She is going to pack. What is she going to pack? She is going to pack her clothes, sweaters, books and toys. So, before that she is thinking. She is very excited to meet her granny. So she is telling, I can't wait to see my granny and ride Chinar. Chinar is a pony. What's a pony? Small one of a horse is called a pony. So grandma is having a pony in the house. So she is thinking that she can ride over the pony. So grandma lives in the hills. Somewhere in the hills, little far away. What is the peculiarity of the hills? It will be cold. In Uti, 
some hill stations we take uh, we visit the hill stations during vacation time because the climate is very good for us to enjoy in summer vacation we move on to cold regions okay so same way the this mother and radha is going to visit the granny who is living in the hills so she is carrying a sweater because they may be it might be cold there so she is packing her sweater also and of course some books and toys i make a painting for granny so she is also she made a painting for her granny our train chugs along on the tracks ku chuk 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 so they both are, you can see the picture mother and radha is in the train so they are going to visit their grandma so radha you can see she is sitting on the seat and looking through the window now we reach granny's home now they reached granny's home my granny waits by the door of her house so granny was waiting for her grandchild hmm so my granny waits by the door of her home of her house dear granny it is so good to see you so what is radha telling dear granny it is so good to see you what shall we do this week oh she is asking granny this only one week they are going to stay with the granny oh she is asking granny what will we do this week just wait and see so there is something surprise that granny is not telling not revealing okay she is telling just wait and see said granny with a twinkle in her eye so maybe because of the love towards a granddaughter eh, there was sparkling in her eyes the week will be as colorful as a rainbow so what is she telling this week will be as colorful as a rainbow do you know a rainbow has how many colors there are seven colors what are they violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so these are the seven colors in a rainbow so same way your this week there are seven days in a week do you know what are the days starting from sunday we count from sunday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so same way there are seven colors in a rainbow so on sunday by the violet flowers we sit so grandma is telling on sunday what will we do we'll sit by the violet flowers on monday a long indigo scarf we knit so on monday what will we do we'll knit a scarf means knitting we knit sweaters it is not the stitching type for knitting we use two needles it's a kind of uh, making sweaters a lot with the wool knitting on monday a long indigo scarf we knit we'll knit a scarf on tuesday we dip our feet in blue water so clean so on tuesday what are we going to do we are going to dip our kalu mukyaka we are going to dip our feet in blue water so clean on wednesday we walk under pine trees you can see grandma and radha walking through the pine trees long big pine trees are there so they are walking can you see the picture there so green on thursday i write chinar by yellow mustard fields on thursday what is radha going to do she is riding over the riding on the pony in the next page you can see the picture of a pony you can see radha is riding on a pony through the mustard field what's a mustard kadugu eh? and the flower of a mustard plant is yellow in color so it is the yellow field you can see beautiful yellow flowers so we can be she is telling we can ride through the mustard field 
on friday we see the orange sunset behind the hills so what are they going to do on friday we see the orange sunset when the sun rises it is yellow in color and the when the sun sets it becomes orange color on friday we see the orange sunset be- behind the hills and on saturday we dry red chilies on the terrace so on saturday they are going to dry red chilies you can see your mothers dry, putting the red chilies in hot sun to make it hot so that the next day they can powder it okay they go to the flour mill and powder the chili so here the same way grandma is telling on saturday we dry red chilies on the terrace some of them put on the terrace because if there is sunlight there or we put in the courtyard mutat if there is sunlight there we put in the courtyard or else in the terrace so here one thing that you learn is from you can learn the seven days and the seven colors are here in this paragraph that is the peculiarity you can see sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and here the colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so this is the color of the rainbow seven colors and the seven days of a week both you can study from this so and this how will you remember the color of a rainbow you have to remember the take the first letter of each color v i b g y o r when you read it together it becomes vibjor eh? you take the v from violet i from indigo b from blue g from green y from yellow o from orange and r from red and you read it together you get the word vibjor so that is the color of a rainbow when someone ask you what's the color of the rainbow you can very well say that it is vibjor it is easy for you to remember the word vibjor then you will get the seven colors okay so the we study the seven days as well as the seven colors of a rainbow now next it is sunday again and the next sunday comes and it is time for radha and mother to return back to their home it is sunday again and time to go back home my dear radha i shall miss you once you get on the train so grandma is very sad very upset because radha is going back with her mother but she is telling i shall miss you once you get on the train once you get into the train i feel lonely promise me that next summer we shall meet again so what is grandma telling she is promising asking radha to come next summer vacation dear granny what a colorful week we have spent so radha is telling dear granny what a colorful week we have spent well, the week that we spent together it was very colorful hmm? i shall never forget the summer holiday with you well, this shall always be in my memory the, those seven days it was very colorful so radha is very thankful to her grandma she is telling i shall never forget the summer holiday with you and radha is going back with her mother so that is the story of summer with granny now you have to study the new words given in the printed note for next class you will be having a dictation so i want you all to write the new words one time in your notebook and 10 times in your copy book thank you